every time I build something, it, it, like I have to be like obsessed and passionate about doing it. I've made one double neck before, and this one was kind of a no-brainer because you know I really love Marauders and you know the Electric Twelve. Those are kind of my babies, and the double neck Marauder was just uh, an obvious thing for me. I'm Carlos Lopez, Fender Custom Shop Master Builder. I got hooked up with Paul Frank. He's kind of part of the Fender family. He's worked with a lot of the builders over at the shop, and uh, I caught wind that he was interested in doing a Marauder. I started talking to Paul, and man, we, we became easy friends. Hi, my name is Paul Frank. I'm a designer, artist, most known for my characters, like the monkey behind me. But first, I'm a guitar player and a Fender fan. I've been playing guitar since the 80s, so I met a lot of people in bands, and through that kind of association, we met up with some of the Fender people and got to work with Fender on a number of collaborative guitar designs, both for um, other artists and as uh, giveaways as well. This year, when Carlos asked me to help him with a guitar, I thought, well, let's, let's push it. What would you want, you know? What would be a fantasy guitar, you know? I want a 12-string and a Marauder. You know, I want lots of switches. It's a dream, you know? Like, like what, what, what do you dream of? Wow. <laughs> I'm so not worthy of this. I have my way of how I start, and basically I have just the two-dimensional representation of the skeleton of it. I sent it to Paul, and then he sent it to me with, you know, different colors. He kind of brought it more to life. Carlos is great. He's always open to trying new things and not afraid to push the limits, and nothing's too crazy. I'm like, what have we tried? What if we use the 1964 logo, or we, you know, just different, there's a lot of nerd guitar stuff going on. He wanted to do the, the Starcaster headstock on the bottom part of it. I decided to go with, you know, the big peg, just because what the Marauder is to me is with that headstock. The body part was kind of easy. I did a couple of rough drafts, and I sent it to him, and he said, yeah, that looks great. After that, it was just, well, what color should we paint it? And, you know, what pickup should we put in it, you know? He had a vision, let's do the, the black pickup covers just so it matches, you know, and let's do the, the one-ply parch guard and, and with the seafoam green. What was fun about the 12-string uh, was that it had those split pickups, and I thought, well, no one ever does a set of three. You know, I always felt on the 12-string, there's a hole there, there's a missing area, so let's have three sets instead of two sets, why not, right? And then for the Marauder, I was like, do you think we could get pickups with no pole pieces showing? Because I've always been a fan of the solid color pickups on a Music Master or a Mustang. So Carlos asked Curtis Novak to design us a special set of Jag pickups that with the no pole pieces, and I thought that was really cool. It's cool to be able to have other makers out there who can get something like that done without making a you know 5,000 piece mold or something. And then as far as the color goes, I'm a huge fan of Spinal Tap, so we had to go for the, uh, the Base 6 color that Nigel Tufnell had on his, his Base 6. Got to marry the unicorns with the elusive color of that Spinal Tap guitar. It's basically, you know, the genesis of it all. It was appropriate that you play this. <laughs> I have a habit of, of, of buying firsts. Like, oh, yeah. This is Carlos' oh. first 12 string. Oh. And it's the first 12 string ever made for, yeah. or something like that. And then the Marauder I have over there, the beautiful pink Marauder. Same thing. And the minute your name is attached to it, it's, it makes it even more special. 
I mean, this is the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long time. I mean, yeah, so I cannot. I mean, I I didn't really even look at it. The minute I walked through the door, I started, you know, playing it, and uh, I didn't look at the details here. No, no, I mean, I've played a lot of different weird double necks in my in my day, and um, just the way the way they both speak if they're both on. You know, there's no feeding back, unnecessary. You know, like when sometimes you play down here and you've got this screaming and it's just completely pointless and you almost think, what am I even doing with this thing? But I could totally see playing this on stage and having both of them, you know, make sense and, you know, quickly, quickly muting it if you have to. But I mean, this is just, this is a real triumph. And, and it, it absolutely inspires, I mean, the amount of incredible ideas you know, uh, that these things have brought to the world is just, uh, you know, it's immeasurable. But, you know, the fact that you get to do that, I mean, I'm sure in the back of your mind, probably not every second, uh, but in, you know that the thing that you're spending your, your time and your energy doing is going to change the world. So thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this, is, this is just beautiful. I guess my hope is just to, I want somebody to play it. You know what I mean? I want somebody to create something with it. Hope somebody gets this and inspired to create, you know, the next badass album, you know? And just like to create something that makes a mark. And maybe, I guess the ultimate thing is just to be identified with maybe an artist and, you know, a song. And at the same time, you know, it's something that I made is that, I think that's the ultimate right there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.